And I ain't got but one question regarding the whole September 11 issue. And this, to me, is the most important question regarding the whole shit. Because ain't nobody else asking it, and that got me concerned. My question is, what the fuck happened to the emergency broadcast system on September 11? <laughs> Wasn't that supposed to be our fucking plan? Remember that shit? You remember this nameless, faceless bastard always fucking up your television programming? Cutting in, letting you know, you know the whole speech. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. This is only a test. This was supposed to be the plan in case some shit happened. You didn't never turn the channel. You listened to this motherfucker. Even after he violated your ass with that noise. Beep, you set your ass there like invasion of the fucking body snatcher. Until he brought his nameless, faceless ass back and let you know this has been a test of the emergency broadcast system. Had this been an actual emergency, we would have told you what the fuck you need to do. Well, I don't know about y'all, but for me, September 11 was an actual fucking emergency. To me, on September 11, it should have been a bell ringing, button pushing, tattle telling motherfucker. Beep! Bitch, get your shit! This is not a fucking dress rehearsal! Grab the kids and the fucking Powerball tickets and get the fuck out of here! My question is, where was that motherfucker that day? I say we bring him up on charges. What did his job to let us know some shit was happening? Y'all better have fun. You're living in your last days. I'm trying to tell you now, if it's somebody you love, you better tell them. If somebody owe you money, you better get it. <laughs> if it's a dick you want to suck, you better get your shirt dirty. You better get your shirt dirty. You fuck around, wake up tomorrow and hit a message. Last call for dick sucking, last call. Have fun, I ain't wasting no more time. And I, I'm not wasting no more money. That's something I ain't never did anyway. You know what I can't get into? Designer clothes. Fuck them. I don't know Versace. Fuck him. Shit. All I know, he got a dirty shirt, and I don't need him to represent my shit. I got that one. Y'all run around paying $2,500 to put a name in your goddamn label. It ain't that serious for me. See, I'm the type of bitch that if a dress costs $25, I'm gonna have a conference with your ass. You gonna explain to me why this bitch so, $2,500, bitch, why your dress so high? What, for $2,500, what is this bitch gonna do? Grow arms and hold me tight in the middle of the night? <laughs> See, I got rules for my money. If I pay crazy money for some shit, it can't ever go out of stock. And y'all know designer shit will go out of style. Some of y'all sitting here mad in the motherfucker at Cross Colors and Gloria Vanderbilt as I speak. <laughs> I'll pay $2,500. I gotta keep that bitch in my family like an heirloom, you know? I gotta be able to pass the shit down to my daughter. She got to be able to pass it down to her daughter. And she got to be able to pass it down to her son who got a dirty shirt. Fuck that. And plus, is it me, ladies, or is the bitches that work in the stores that sell designer shit the snootiest bunch of hoes you ever run into in your life? You ever go in the store, them bitches looking at you up and down, it's like, bitch, you work here? You know what I call that? I call that a simple case of this bitch done forgot what her job is. Sometimes you gotta go in there and remind that hoe what her job is. You go in there and let her know, bitch, it's your job to price shit for me. That's right, I know I ain't buying shit. And you know I ain't buying shit. But I wanna know how much the shit I ain't buying cost. Now how much is it, bitch? Price it, do your job. Cause it ain't shit but a scam, and the biggest scam in the world is design a purse. You know, somebody will tell me a purse $800. Why, bitch, it's a bag. Use your fucking common sense. Ladies, don't pay $800. You, nine out of 10 of y'all ain't even got your valuable shit in your purse. Your money in your titty and your ID in your pocket. Am I wrong? You don't pay $800 for no goddamn bag. Take inventory. All you got in there is what, some keys, a cell phone, depending on which club you're going to, some liquor. And that's got a fucked up. You pay $800 for a purse and then you sneak a half pint into the club in the bitch. <laughs> you need to get your priorities right, bitch. I 
ain't gonna do it. I ain't paying $20, eight, $800 for some shit I probably can get for $20 with Crown Royal already up in the bitch. <laughs> and y'all know that Crown Royal bag been suspect as a purse for many years. Some of y'all got one at home with your valuable shit in it, don't you? Look up in the top drawer of that Crown Royal bag and get my birth certificate. <laughs> one time I fucked around and found an outfit to match that Crown Royal bag perfectly. <laughs> Bitch, I went to the club with my shit. Little waitress come running up to me talking about, ooh, that's sharp, who your designer? I said, Seagram's, bitch. 